What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you every single thing I've been eating for basically the past few years on my new diet now. This is kind of like a grocery haul, but not really because uh, we have everything on Frankie Syringe Meat and Frankie Syringe Food. So the only thing I had to get at the grocery store was these apples. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is what I've been eating to detox my liver kind of recover from taking Accutane as well as the carnivore diet, making things worse. And after all my research, after all my experimenting, this is what I've found to be delicious, sustainable, and slowly feeling better. It does not include my supplement routine, which I might do in another video. But again, guys, this is literally every single thing I've been putting in my body for the most part, especially considering I left New York, so we're not dealing with any sewer rat ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get into that another time. So you guys have seen a lot of this in my day of eatings. Uh, we did the food pyramid video, which you guys should definitely watch. But this is like a more hands-on, literal me showing you guys, okay, this is what you should actually be eating. So if you combine my food pyramid video with this, it'll basically give you an excellent idea of what you should be doing. Uh, we also don't have the water kefir and water kefir grains here, which arguably can be a supplement, can be considered part of the diet, but uh, we have a lot of videos on water key for water key for grains, the importance of probiotics. I don't know if you guys can see it in frame here. I actually have my water key for on the counter there, and we also have some bread here, but we'll touch on that later. So starting with breakfast, uh, I've had a few different carbohydrates, and breakfast probably has the most variety compared to the other meals. For the protein source, it's been the same. I have Iberico pork, Lately, it's been breakfast sausage. If I don't have an Iberico pork breakfast sausage, I'll have either like some tenderloin that I just sear off in the pan, or I'll take some lean ground Iberico pork tenderloin, all exclusively available on frankiestrangemeat.com, and uh, I'll just sear that and maybe put a little maple syrup and honey on that. But I don't really like having meats besides pork. They don't really mix well with breakfast for me, so just get the highest quality pork you have access to. Uh, we even have the corn and soy free uh, Amish pork in the pork share, which is much more affordable than the Iberico pork. So that's our protein source, you know, getting our B vitamins, cholesterol, saturated fat. I don't usually have too much protein in the morning right when I wake up. Uh, the most recent carbohydrate you guys have seen me eating is combining our organic Birch Benders pancake mix with organic quick oats. Uh, in the pancake mix is just wheat flour, sugar, and then just a few organic ingredients for the leavening. So very simple, not much in it. Uh, I didn't show you guys, we have the organic sugar in the cabinet and there's a little bit of vanilla powder uh, that I, I do put in the pancake mix. So some spices and seasonings might be omitted here. Uh, if I'm not having those pancakes, which we did a recipe on, the mix of equal parts pancake mix and quick oats, I'll be having just quick oats. So I'll take the oats, maybe put some maple syrup and honey in there with some vanilla, and I'll have that in the morning real quick. And what's recent and I haven't showed you guys yet is organic cream of wheat. I kind of like the flavor of this more than the oatmeal. Uh, I prefer the pancakes to both of these, but for me, cream of wheat is very nostalgic. Uh, some of you Italians might know it as farina, baby cereal. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do a few videos on that, but those are the, the main carbohydrates that I've been having uh, with my breakfast. Now, the fiber content of the, you know, the pancake mix and the cream of wheat, it, it's okay. It's not, it's not crazy, crazy high. That's why I usually mix the oats in, and, but, but the cream of wheat isn't that bad from a fiber perspective. However, we're gonna be having more fiber later in the day, and with every meal, the organic Honeycrisp apple is providing gut motility, fiber, sugar because when you're having carbs and starches you want to actually utilize all your body's digestive capabilities that's why we have the lean protein there's a little bit of fat in there sometimes i'll put a little bit of uh, coconut oil here in the uh, carbohydrate mix especially when i'm like cooking the pancakes basically frying them in oil in the pan so we have our protein we have our fat and we have our carbohydrates we're utilizing all our body's digestive capabilities the liver and the pancreas and also adding the sugars in the apple is also utilizing more of that because if you just have a starch, you know, your body can only digest so much starch. But if you have a smaller amount of starch with some sugar, with some alcohol, whatever, 
you're kind of utilizing all different types of enzymes. So it's better to have a little bit of variety than to just overdo one thing. Uh, but that's pretty much it for breakfast. Uh, I'll touch on the seasonings briefly because they are included in every meal. So this salt, uh, filtered sea salt that we have on the meat website and the foods website, that goes into almost everything. You know, I'm putting it in the starches when I make them. Same with lunch, same with dinner. That's the salt I'm using. If I need to season the steaks, that's the salt that's going on it. And if I'm using a cooking fat, the coconut oil, maybe I'll put a tablespoon in the oatmeal. I'll fry the pancakes in it. I'll put a little bit of coconut oil in the farina. When I have rice, I'll put some coconut oil in the rice. Same with the udon noodles. Uh, we'll touch on that more when we get to those meals. But I think that's everything for breakfast. Uh, moving on to lunch, which has been different recently. I've just been having rice with protein and beans. Uh, you guys have seen this meal a few times. Either that or I'll have bread with protein and I'll dip the bread in the white bean puree that I also have for dinner. So again, lunch is either meat, rice, and beans. Very simple. We have just, I've been doing the pork ham that we've had in the uh, pork share lately. That's really, really tasty, nice smoked flavor. Or I used to have the roast beef a lot with lunch. Those are the two proteins I usually have. Sometimes I'll have a steak. Uh, we have the jovial organic cannellini beans on the side. That's our soluble fiber, very important to have with the meal. And my starch has been organic white basmati rice. Uh, so that's the main thing. Lately, we've been doing most of probably the past year, I've been having bread. You guys can actually see, I think it's in frame. I have some bread that I'm about to bake and eat. And I'll, I'll dip that bread in the white bean puree. We've done a few different variations on this recipe. I'll explain it when we get to dinner because that's also what I put on the udon noodles. So that meal, I think you guys have seen it in a day of eating as well. I literally just take pieces of the ham, eat them, dip the bread in the bean puree. I, I like that a little more. For me, it's more enjoyable. And uh, the reason I'm not just eating you know, beans, rice, and meat with every meal is because each food has some type of downside, whether it's a pollutant or it's arsenic like in rice or maybe the way they grew it, there's always a downside to everything, maybe a specific anti-nutrient. So when you have variety and you can use different sources of things, it's usually better to switch things up uh, most of the time. And then the honey crisp apple with every meal most of the time. And for dinner, which has been consistent, so you know breakfast has had a few variations, lunch has had you know two variations. Dinner has been the same basically for I don't know how long now, ever since I found these udon noodles, which I really enjoy, we have these again. Again, guys, every, I feel like a broken record. Everything you see here can be purchased on the meat website and the foods website, besides the apples for the most part. So, you know, what's, what's the saying? Uh, practice what you preach. It's kind of what I've done with all my businesses. You know, I didn't just make up my businesses because I thought they were good business ideas because uh, it's what I do for my own health and I wanted to provide you guys with everything to be healthy. What's special about these udon noodles is it's made from refined, hard red winter wheat, which is like the lowest anti-nutrient flour that exists. So I'm able to safely eat these noodles every night, whereas like durum wheat semolina is, is not that good. It's high in, uh, what the hell, I always forget what it's called. Uh, lutein, I think, and other carotenoids. Not that great for your liver, but this is the carbohydrate base, the udon noodles. Our white bean puree is a blend of the organic artichoke spread we have on the foods website, the organic jovial cannellini beans, and some of the collagen bone broth. Uh, this is actually the beef stock concentrate. I'll either use that or the collagen bone broth. I'll mix it in with the white beans and the artichoke spread. Just take an immersion blender, mix it all together. It's basically like a white bean hummus. And I use that to dip my bread in for lunch and, and the sauce on the, uh, on the, noodles for dinner. It's adding flavor, it's adding starch, carbohydrate, um, not starch, I'm sorry, it's adding soluble fiber in the beans, which is very important for liver detox, and the beef stock concentrate. I like adding it for more flavor. Some amino acids, glycine help heal the gut lining, and I'll usually put a little bit of coconut oil and salt on those noodles when I, when I boil them in Mountain Valley water. So whenever I'm cooking something, whether it's the oats, the pancakes, the cream of wheat, rice, bread, noodles, everything is being usually cooked in Mountain Valley mineral water. 
And then I usually drink the Fiuji mineral water. Uh, shouldn't really call it a mineral water. It's, it's very low mineral water. Uh, very good for moving calcium out of the body. I find that if I don't have the Fiuji, if I only have the Mountain Valley, I get very constipated. So this is important. And sometimes I'll even just cook everything in the Fiuji water as well. Uh, so we have those two bottles of water here as I usually buy those in bulk. And I even make the water kefir with that too. Uh, protein source for dinner mixed in with those udon noodles. Sometimes I'll slice up some roast beef. Uh, what I usually like and is a little tastier, I'll take either you know a ribeye steak or even some like filet mignon tenderloin steak. I'll sear that in the pan. I'll slice it thin, put it in the udon noodles, and then I'll deglaze the the pan with a little bit of beef stock and then put that in the udon noodles as well with the bean puree just for some extra flavor. I, I really, really also like, uh, we have like Iberico pork loin and Iberico pork chops. I like that a lot more in the udon noodles than the beef, but, but both are absolutely delicious. And if you guys have watched, you know, all my day of eatings for, for some time, now you'll see the different varieties and variations that I've done. I don't really know what the cost of this would be to eat per month. If I had to guess, probably between $400 and $600. Uh, I think we did a budget video, which was like a $280 thing, which is basically what you can get on food stamps. Uh, so to spend like 100 or 200 more a month to, to eat as, as good as possible isn't crazy, especially when you're having Iberical pork and steak and the highest quality meats with every meal. But every meal has the same consistent theme. We have an adequate amount of animal protein, saturated fat, cholesterol, amino acids, the bioavailable animal minerals, all that good stuff to to give us healthy cells and, and restore our tissue. There's a small amount of fat in the meat as well as the coconut oil that we use because our body needs some fat, but we try to keep the fat amount low just to not stress the liver too much because when you have a lot of fat, the liver releases more bile. The bile is storing the toxins that the liver is excreting. So you want to you want the liver to excrete the toxins, but you don't want it to be a crazy amount every single meal. So we just have a moderate amount of fat um, even though this is refined coconut oil, it is uh, still saturated, so it's solid at room temperature. That's the healthiest type for your cells. Uh, I have the, the liquid coconut oil sitting there on the counter. That It's just a little easier to use, but that, that your body is going to kind of burn as energy, and it's not going to be uh, stored as fat as easily as uh, something like this. I could be wrong on that, the triglyceride conversion, but um, th this one is a little bit easier on the liver and digestion from like a, a chemical perspective it's not as processed yeah my vision's still pretty impaired so i can't tell how long this recording has been i don't want this video to be too long but i will briefly touch on some hypothetical negatives here so you know there's a lot of plastic packaging uh, that's offset you know we do uh, take the beef glandular supplements like the male virility and stuff and the beef testicles uh, a few times a week just to keep the testosterone high to avoid a lot of the uh, negative effects of the plastics. Uh, maybe there's a few concerns with chemicals and can lining as well, and maybe some water used like in the beans. Uh, even maybe some, who knows what, if there's any pollution concerns with Mountain Valley. But overall, you know, compared to what the average person is eating, th this is about uh, as good as you can get, and, you, and you're really minimizing any sort of uh, toxin or pollutant concerns, and also removing the most inflammatory types of foods from your diet. Uh, but I think that'll be it. So if you guys want any of this stuff, I've mentioned it probably at least half a dozen times now. We have it on frankiestrangemeat.com and frankiestrangefoods.com. Maybe I'll do a video in a few weeks or a month or so on updated supplement routine. Uh, I, I said it earlier, the only thing that you guys don't really see here are those supplements as well as the water kefir and water kefir grains. I'm like, I'm like half on, half off with that right now. We do have all the flavors, I think, in stock on the foods website if you guys want to try the water kefir. And uh, the water kefir grains are very affordable, only like $5 a jar. Uh, but I'll do like two weeks on, two weeks off, probiotics on and off, depending on how I feel or whether I mess up my homemade recipe or not. But that's going to be it. So thank you guys for joining me. Uh, my eyes are still recovering a little bit. They probably look better, uh, but probably still a little weird. And um, I didn't say it in the beginning, but, you know, we were banned for about a week. So this is like, I think my first full video back, but 
I'll talk about that more in, in the next few videos, maybe, and in the vlog. I don't know. Or we'll just do some shorts on it. But uh, if you guys want to support me instead of these corporate chills, you know what to do. You know, place a nice big order on any of the businesses available on frank com, And please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon.